Yo, what's up, guys? It is Kino, and welcome to my first OU Live. It is January 1st, and so uh, in honor of it being the first of many things, I thought I would uh, start off with a, a kind of a first themed team. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, I have a... I wanted to go with something something with Venusaur. Venusaur, you know, being the first uh, evolutionary... Or first, one of the first Pokemon, one of the first evolutionary lines, you know, Bulbasaur being number one. Um, I also wanted to go with Charizard, because Charizard was my personal first Pokemon. I picked Charmander when I got red back in, like, 98, 97, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, so um, I ended up running Mega Charizard Y to get that sun up for it. Uh, my Life Orb Chlorophyll Offensive Venusaur. This thing, I'm going to be honest, doesn't hit very hard. Uh, I was practicing with the team a little bit, and it was kind of underwhelming. But, um... It's still a fun team nonetheless, and uh, the rest of the team just kind of supports that. I have Defog Latias, um, Spikes, Skarmory. No, you don't normally see Spikes and Defog together, especially with uh, a team that wants to get rid of Stealth Rock so badly. But, uh, I don't know, it's kind of hastily put together. Um, so, we're gonna we're just going to see how this goes. Actually, no, I'm going to change it. You guys are right, I shouldn't do that. So, alright, <laughs> quick edit. All right, this makes more sense, right? Perfect, I don't need spikes. All right, so yeah, without further ado, we're gonna jump right in and let's see what we get. Hmm, okay, there we go, perfect. All right, so it looks like we're up against, no, we're up against a very similar team. It looks like we're both gonna be uh, running Mega Charizard Y uh, with the sun He's got a Venusaur of his own. He also has that Tyranitar X control option. Um, and uh, closing it out, he's got that um, that uh, Kieran Black and the Rotom Wash. Um, I think Gardevoir can do pretty decently. Uh, fo I have Focus Blast for the T-Tar and the X Cadrill. I am Choice Scarfed as well. Uh, I got Moon Blast for pretty much anything else but the Venusaur, and I have Psy Shock for the Venusaur. I am Choice Scarfed though, so I will be locked into a move. Uh, if I can trick that Rotom, that would be great. Um, then again, he doesn't. Rotom doesn't really threaten my 19 that much. Um, I really don't want him opening with Kiram, so I'm gonna open with my Scarfed Gardevoir and then uh, hit him up with the timer. All right, there's Tyranitar. So, like, I'm not that. I'm like sort of low on the ladder. I'm around the 1300 range right now. Uh, I, if he's going to switch, I feel like he's going to go into Excadrill and not Venusaur, although Venusaur is the much, much better switch. Um, that being said, I'm going to click Focus Blast as opposed to, as opposed to Moon Blast. Um, I really don't think he's, well, we'll see. Yep, yeah, like I said, there's the Excadrill, Focus Blast connects, and Excadrill is going to go down. Uh, yeah, see, Ven I think Venusaur is a much better play there. There's no way I was clicking Psy Shock in front of a Tyranitar. Uh, he goes Kiram. Um, if he's Scarfed, he's faster than me. Um, I don't think he knows that I'm Scarfed, though. I also don't know if this Focus Blast will knock it out, nor do I want to risk it, because now that um, Excadrill's gone, I can kind of more freely spam Moon Blast, Venusaur kind of being the only thing that uh, can stop me, and I have you know plenty of answers for that. I'm going to do a quick calc. Uh, 252. Okay, yep. And I'm going to Focus Blast. And I'm just going to assume this is Life Orb Kiram. Sure. Focus Blast will not kill, and I want to save Gardevoir, so I'm going to switch out here. Uh, and I'm going to switch into my Skarmory. I am a specially defensive Skarmory. Oh, and he went for the Iron Head. Nice. Okay. The question is... Alright, he is Life Orb. Uh, now, not wanting to... Man, my team's weak as hell to this. Uh... He can just go right for the fusion bolt right now, and he did break my sturdy. All right, what? I think I just have to sack something. He's probably faster than my guard chomp, also. Um, uh, I really want to get Gardevoir in so I can fire off another Moon Blast. It's not a Mega Venusaur, so it won't. It'll it'll take the Moon Blast, but it's not. It, it should be a 3 KO. Not that I'll be staying in on it. Uh, do I really need Skarmory for anything? I don't think I do. Um, I'm just going to click Iron Head. 
maybe get some damage off. Oh, as he switches out, actually. Okay, so he's going to go right into Charizard. That's I know for a fact that's going to be a Charizard Y. So I'll be going directly into my Latias. If this is Charizard X, then he, he fooled me. That Venusaur really made me think it's a Zard Y. I am surprised he uh, he wanted to switch out there. Maybe he's not carrying the Fusion Bolt. That would be great. Oh my god, if he doesn't have Fusion Bolt, Skarmory is going to hardwall that thing. But what, what Kyurem doesn't have Fusion Bolt? So here comes the Fire Blast. Yep, uh, Lighthouse takes that pretty well. Um, he can very easily double into his Tyranitar right now. So what I'm going to do is double into... Well, yeah, I'm going to double into Gardevoir. Because even if he does have Dragon Pulse, Gardevoir doesn't really care. That'd be a bad play, though. Charizard will go would go down to my Draco. He does have Dragon Pulse. Um, so right now I'm just going to click... Uh, I'm going to click Move Blast. Although his Fire Blast will probably hurt me a lot. Maybe I should just Psy Shock. I don't want to get trapped by his T-Tar is the thing. I'm faster, so I'd switch first. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna... Uh, he's, he wouldn't switch Tyranitar in here, though. Only if he was really expecting Psyshock. Um, I'm not clicking Focus Blast, that's for sure. I'm just gonna Moonblast. Yeah, let's see. Alright, he stays in. That did a, a little bit less than I thought it would, actually. This Fire Blast will knock me out. Alright, that's fine. Alright. So I'm gonna go into my Latias here. Now that I kinda know he's not really switching, I am just gonna drop a Draco. I don't know if he thought he could survive it from that range or whatever, but... Also, shout out to uh, the Gen 1 music that should be going on in the back. I didn't actually sound test this before I started, so <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it sounds good on you guys' end. If it doesn't, then uh, you won't be watching any of this. <laughs> Oh, as I miss Draco Meteor. Oh my god. Alright, I don't die though. Uh, I can't roost that off though. I'm gonna draw I'm just gonna click Draco again. That's really annoying. Is he really not gonna switch to Tyranitar here? Ugh. Okay, he is gonna switch to Tyranitar here. Let's see if he pursues me. I'm going to attempt to go into my Garchomp right now. Get my Stealth Rocks up. Yeah, he does pursue me. I figured. Um, I can actually, uh, well, okay, so I can either go Charizard now and click Focus Blast if I don't want to miss. Or I could go Garchomp and just get my rocks up. Um, I don't really want to let give him an opportunity to get rocks up. I don't know if this is Scarf or Band or Support or what. Um, I, well, I know he's not Smooth Rock, but... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to click Focus Blast, and I'm going to not miss. Also, you guys, I'm sure you just noticed, I'm actually... I'm not running Solar Beam on this Charizard, because uh, anything I'd Solar Beam, I'd just rather switch into Venusaur on. Um, I do have Earthquake, though, for uh, Heat Grants. Alright, T-Tar's gone. And the sun is up, so... Um, Venusaur will go down to the uh, to the heat wave. Um, Charizard... Oh, okay, it's just... Whatever, he can't knock me out, so I'm just gonna go right for the heat wave. I know he's faster, because Chlorophyll. Growth! Alright. Alright, well, yeah, that's gone. Not sure what the idea was there. All right, now he goes Kyurem. I'm a little bit faster than this, uh, and Heat Wave should do more than Focus Blast. Heat Wave. Uh, all right, so Focus Blast is 240. Uh, heat Wave is 95. It's like 130. It's like around, it's around to 1 140-ish, and then Sun. Two, okay, they're actually about the same power. So I'm gonna go for Heat Wave, as he is scarfed. Okay. And locked into Fusion Bolt. Gonna rock here. Um, 
I only have one more. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Venusaur here. Fire up Sludge Bomb. He's probably gonna um, Will O Wisp. Yeah, I thought so. I could have Dragon Tail there, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm really not expecting him to stay in, so I'm just gonna click Sludge Bomb. He's probably gonna Volt out. I really hope he goes into a. Uh, well, as soon as he goes into Charizard, he'll be setting up the Sun for me, so that'll be great. Yep, there's the Volt Switch, does absolutely nothing. Something is about to take rocks plus Sludge Wave. If he goes into Charizard, that's great. He goes Kyrim, though. And he's gonna be clicking. Oh, get the poison, get the poison! No poison. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna go Skarmory here. I should be able to take two Ice Beams. Pretty sure I can take two Ice Beams. And, uh,. Venusaur should be able, assuming Skarmory can take these Ice Beams, Venusaur should be able to clean up the game. Um, Kyrim goes down, um, Rotom loses to Venusaur, because I have Energy Ball, as well as Synthesis. And as soon as Charizard comes in, he'll take 50 from Rocks and Venusaur World Speed because of the Sun. That Ice Beam, ice beam does absolutely nothing. And um, I really don't want to play around with Freezes. I feel like this guy's going to freeze me, not going to lie. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, well, I'm gonna Iron Head here. Is he gonna get the freeze? He is not. I've been, I've been, you know, normally I would just roost there. Roost was probably the best play. Um, but, uh, I'm not really that afraid of, okay, perfect. So I'm not going to let him roost for free. I'm going to click Roar. Yeah, there's the roost. And out comes the Rotom. Now when Charizard comes in, he will be taking a... Uh, he will be taking a lot in. I'm going to sack, I'm going to sack Skarmory here. I hope he Volt Switches. I know Iron Head's not going to do... Okay, good. Skarmory's going to go down and he's forced to go into Charizard. I get a free switch into my Venusaur with the sun up and Charizard will be coming in at 2%. So Venusaur will be able to clean up this game. I'm just gonna why not, click Energy Ball because reasons. No, I wanna click Sludge Bomb. <laughs> On the off chance, I'm still slower. <laughs> I, I'm not. It's not possible. I hit 400 speed right now, but all right, Zard goes down. Um, I don't know if Energy Ball will one-shot him, actually, so I'm actually going to Synthesis first. Just in case Energy Ball doesn't one-shot the Rotom. It should, but better safe than sorry. And it's not like he can hacks me at this point, I'm already burned. Um, okay, he's going to forfeit. So I will win that game, Venusaur cleaning up, doing what I wanted it to do. And uh, I want to get one more game for you guys, same team. Alright, and this team might... Okay, I already know my team's going to struggle with this a lot. He's got the big blob. Uh, this team has very, very little answers for it. I had Taunt on Skarmory before, but I took it off in favor of Roar. Um, uh, yeah, Chansey's an enormous issue. Uh, I don't even have knockoff on this team. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see what we can do. Um, he doesn't have a solid way of stopping my Garchomp from setting up Stealth Rocks. I guess he could go Superior. But if he does that, I will be switching to... Uh, Actually, Venusaur can stop his superior pretty nicely. As he opens with Chansey. Okay, I'm okay with that. Uh, he might toxic me. I'm just going to put my stealth rocks up. He has no hazard removal. Oh, he goes for the seismic toss. That's wonderful. Uh, dude, any day, man. All right, I want to go into Gardevoir. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's see. I want to. Normally, you would stay in with Chansey on a Gardevoir. I want to go for the trick and see if he stays in. If I can trick this Chansey, that will severely cripple it. All right, and we get it. All right, so Eviolite's gone, and now he'll be locked into a move. He's locked into Thunder Wave now. Um, I can pretty freely... Well, he has a really easy switch in Metagross here. Uh, so predicting that, I'm going to go... See, here's the thing. I'd go into Charizard here, but I really don't want him to just double Thunder Wave. That would be really annoying. Um, so instead, I'm going to go Garchomp. If he goes Metagross, I can take that on... And if he goes, uh, if he double Thunder Waves, I'm obviously immune. He's going to go Rotom, though. And again, I'm just expecting him to click Will-O-Wisp. Um, I really don't want to go... I'm going to go 
Latias and the Willows. Um, yeah, I... Not having Solar Beam on Zardwai is really weird, but I don't know. I just... I wanted to do something different than usual, you know? You see Zol Solar Beam on Zardwai all the time. For good reason, it's kind of a... Ooh! He tricked me. A choice band. Well... I am going to... That's... Huh. Okay. Didn't see that coming at all. It would have been kind of bad for his team. I could have just spammed Earthquake once, um... Once Landorus was gone. Whatever. Is he going to make the Metagross switch here? That is the question. I have a Garchomp. He could... He's probably just going to Ice Punch it. I have a Skarmory. Is the more correct answer. I'm going to Psy Shock in case he tries to go Chansey on this. As he will actually stay in on... And do that. That's doing nothing. Um... I might Bolt Switch here. Alright, okay, now I'll go into Venusaur. He's not Double Wisping. Alright, he goes into Fish Harp. That's pretty annoying. I'm gonna go directly into Garchomp. Garchomp should be able... Actually, I don't know if he can take a plus two, uh... Sucker. I do outspeed him. Um, so he does have to go for Sucker. Uh, I'm, I'm not messing around with this. I'm going straight for Earthquake. Garchomp's... I mean, it would be re... Okay, I do I do take that. Bisharp's gonna go down to this. Um, having Garchomp healthy would have been really, really nice for the Metagross, but like I said, I do still have that Skarmory. Um, Latias is more or less useless to me this game. This guy's probably just gonna try and um, Will-O-Wisp me. Or go right for Hydro Pump. Um, I'm gonna go directly into Latias, and now I'm just gonna fire off a Draco Meteor. Actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna healing wish up. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal my Garchomp up. He goes for a Hydro Pump. Alright, and Garchomp is back. Sweet. Alright, so I have Garchomp for Metagross now. I also have Garchomp for Landorus, which is nice. Again, Skarm recovers that pretty well, but better safe than sorry. Um, do I, do I think he's gonna... Well, I'm gonna go Venusaur. It's just the safest play. Alright, he does Will-O-Wisp. That's fine. Click Energy Ball, as he is faster than me. I don't have that much speed in Venusaur, so that makes sense. I do have HP Fire on Venusaur, but um, I don't think that'll do much to Metagross. Whoa! That Energy Ball did a ton! Okay, maybe Hidden Power Fire will do something. Let's let's go for it. I think he's gonna Ice Punch. Oh, he's gonna Zen Head, but what am I doing? Actually, he might Ice Punch, because that'll kill me, and it would hit the Garchomp as well. Um, I don't really need... I kind of I kinda need it. Superior is the only thing I'm really scared of. Oh, he's just gonna forfeit. Okay, well. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of not a great one to end it on. Um, but Venusaur, we saw him do his job. Uh, and let's get one more. Why not? I've been trying to keep him, the videos around 20 minutes. We're a little bit under that, so let's see how quickly we can do this game. Hey guys, so real quick, um, the I did get another game after the one uh, we just watched, however, it ended up coming down to PP stall. Um, I ended up winning in the end, but let's be real, I don't think anyone wants to watch that. If you do, I mean, I'll upload it in a separate video, but, you know, thank you guys for watching this live, and there will be many more to come. Like I said, this is the first uh, OU live I am doing, and I'll be doing many others with, you know, friends and... Uh, uh, you know, we're, we're basically just going to have a lot of fun. So thank you very much. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want. It really helps my channel grow and all that fun stuff. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you later.